Hi, I'm Darren from Australian Clutch, and today we're going to talk about maintaining the setting on an Eaton Fuller type clutch kit. Now, to maintain the setting on an Eaton Fuller type clutch kit is a very simple procedure. You can also use this same procedure when fitting a new clutch. Okay, for the setting we have two tools available, ACT EAT 02 and ACT EAT 03. Now the O2 is used for checking the gap between the, the fork and the bearing itself and the ACT EAT 03 is used for checking the half an inch gap between the clutch brake and the bearing. Okay, well, let's head down to the workshop and we'll go into setting a vehicle. Firstly, we need to remove the, the gearbox cover plate. Once the cover plate is removed, disconnect the bearing lube line so we can get clear access to the clutch components. Once we have clear access, we'll need to check the bearing to clutch brake gap. To adjust the clutch, we'll need to turn the engine over so we've got access to the quick adjuster. To adjust the clutch, we'll need to have someone in the cabin. They will need to fully depress the clutch and need to take the full load off the clutch itself. Once the load has been removed from the clutch, we can adjust the quick adjuster. This is done by fitting a spanner over the nut, forcing the nut past its locking mechanism, and once it's freed, you can move the adjuster in, in the direction required. The person in the cab can remove their foot from the clutch, and then we can check the half an inch gap with the tool. The person in the cabin will need to apply the clutch and remove their foot from the clutch again, and then we can go into the process of checking the eighth inch gap between the bearing and the fork itself. If the gap is incorrect, modifications will need to be completed up under the dash in the cabin.